Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Aperture Shut and ISO on the Canon 90D. Right, so the key ingredients to photographer filming are your Aperture, ISO and Shutter. And it's really important that you navigate, hover through those things whenever you are on location, wherever you are going and play around with those three things within different lighting environments. For example, in fluorescent lighting, in internal, uh, internal lighting or in external lighting because it's really important that you get a real nice balance of lighting. If you don't get that balance, your pictures might be either overexposed or underexposed, particularly if you are shooting in manual mode. Okay, so you know, a lot of cameras nowadays have an auto and you can put it in that and you can shoot away, but sometimes you may want to control various settings. Maybe you want to create an atmospheric look, maybe you want to create a grainy look, maybe you want to film noir or mise en scene type environment. So therefore you do need to kind of control your aperture and shutter in order to get a different tones and feels and emotions through your imagery you know you want it to have a little bit of oomph you want it to have a little bit of feel uh, and in order to get those you need to play around with those you may need to shoot in raw so it collects more data in your image for it and so when you take it into Lightroom you can color correct that image and keep all the data that might be lost within a JPEG image so how do I change my aperture and shutter so I am doing this via Canon 90D, so I'm going to switch this camera on, okay, so there it's on, and I am going to put it in manual mode, so there's my manual mode, okay, so if you can see that, there's my manual mode, um, manual mode, okay, and I am going to go click on this Q button, okay, and once I've clicked on this Q button, I have got a few choices, here is my aperture, sorry, my, not my aperture, my shutter, and I can literally hover in and out like this to control my shutter. Maybe I want it minus four seconds because I want to create those slow-mo watery kind of like effects, you know, light drawings, etc., that people like to do when they start off doing photography or filming. So I might want to do that. I might click on my, I'm going to click on my cue again. I might want a faster shutter speed, maybe uh, 1 25th of a second because I am shooting in a specific environment that isn't very well lit and I need more exposure, for example, okay? Um, so you can, you can play around with those things, okay? To get different tints, different effects. Your, um, your aperture is over here, so click on your aperture and you can, again, you can move in and out like this to let more light so the little hole in your camera opens and close this. So again, if you've got a larger number, it will be a smaller opening. So it'd be probably about that big on an F maybe 12. So you're letting, letting less light in. So for example, if you're in a really, really, really bright day, you might want a smaller sh um, aperture, which is basically a smaller, um, larger number, uh, which is letting less light in. But maybe for example, if you're in a dark environment, you want a bigger hole. And I'm doing this with my finger, but then there's more light going into my camera, uh, so the picture's being more exposed, okay? The next one is your ISO, so you can click on that and hover through that. That's basically to do sensitivity of light. So for example, if you're in a really bright sunny day and you're on, I don't know, a, 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 you know, a Havana beach and you're there chilling out and you're taking pictures of very harsh, tall, bright light, you might want to just adjust your ISO to get a little bit more sensitivity. Like you might probably want to get a diffuser doing. I tend to take pictures in a shadowed environment under like a like an easel for ex or um, a canopy for example in very very high sunlight. It gives it diffuses the image a little bit and it's not as taut on the face and you don't get this kind of really glossy crisp look um, with real sharp light. So you might want to play around with that. Okay. Um, if you wanted the visual look, you click on this Q button, sorry not this Q button, this start button and it will take you to the digital viewfinder and you can change your shutter speed here. So I've got it 125 so you can see that it's more exposed and if I take it down to maybe uh, uh, um, eight of a second it goes down. So if I take it to 250 you can see it gets darker on my screen. So the, you know the bigger the number the more less exposure is going on, okay? So your shutter speed is uh, slower. So if I do it at 500, it's very slow. So it's gonna go, tick, 
and all the light's going to go in. And it's, it's going it's, to, you know, it's not going to be. But if you do it quicker, obviously it's quicker, so less light is going in. So you have to play around with that, tell you the truth, in order to get the right exposure. Uh, you got your ice, 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 ice over here as well. And again, if I flick through that, you can clearly see that it is changing um, when I hover this in up and down. Okay, so that is your aperture, ISO, and shutter on a Canon 90D. If you have any questions, or I might have said something in, in balance to maybe what you were thinking, please do post. You know, there's lots of ways of doing these things, tell you the truth. I know aperture, shutter, and ISO are very systematic, but you know, it's all to do with the photographer or the videographer and how they want to create what they want to create. And not everyone's got the right answer, not everyone's got the wrong, uh, wrong, uh, right answer or wrong answer. We just have to mix and mash to get the best quality image for your needs. Any questions, please do post and I'm happy to respond. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you for the next one.